if you're the typical golfer, the average golfer, uh, you probably are over-utilizing your arms in an attempt to get as much power as you can because you are leaving out the primary source, which is the shifting of weight, all the big muscles of the trunk and the thighs and the rear end to make a good weight shift and turn. And instead you're making, trying to make up the difference and overcompensate by, by pulling the club down with your arms. I've got a great drill that will remedy that for you, help eliminate some of the bad stuff that goes along with the arm pulling. So stay tuned. Hey, I'm Steve from hititlonger.com and I'm on a journey to hit longer and straighter tee shots. Just be longer and straighter in general as it, for me, helps me enjoy playing golf a lot more. We're talking about getting rid of the overactive pulling arms today, which is, you know, really, really common, especially among mid-range to higher handicap golfers. Um, even some low ones, low handicap golfers, they still tend to be a little too active you know, gripping and pulling on the way down. So I'm going to show you a couple ideas that may help you stimulate the lower body and the turn to more direct the power in your swing while the arms can just soften and be reactive to the body turning rather than independently pulling. The first drill I recommend would be taking a full size basket of balls I would hook your left arm, your lead arm, across the pectoralis muscle of the chest here to where it feels like it's glued and married. Then I'm going to hook the forearm and I'm going to let my arm just simply dangle with gravity so as I bend it's going to be right over my toes. We're doing this and making the arm relax, hopefully in order to kind of disengage it from trying to pull like this, pull on the way through, because that's, that's going to end up in as a, as a myriad of, of faults, chicken winging, healing, shanking, slicing, generally poor distance, uh, pulling, topping. There's so many things that can go wrong when you let your arms dominate the swing. We're trying to make, now watch as I get it swinging very gently, that my weight shift from side to side is causing my torso to wind up and I'm letting it. All the while you can see that my left arm is not moving on my chest at all. It's just staying static and I'm letting it relax. It is swinging completely dependently on the wind up and unwinding of my torso which is spurred by the pivot. From this angle in rhythm and with gravity, in no rush. A lot of good players who tend to pull too much, they tend to be in a rush on the way down, not be more of a pendular rhythm. This will help with that too. Notice I'm utilizing the feet and the knees to get the weight swinging to and fro, kind of like a ticking grandfather clock. Now, I don't have enough balls in here, but I would recommend doing this with the, the biggest, heaviest basket of balls that you can so that your arm does not get tempted to try to pull independently. The second idea, which is maybe even better because we can get a medicine ball that's even maybe heavier than a bucket of balls. This one's six pounds, but I'm sure we can find one that goes up to 12, 14, maybe even 16 pound medicine ball really heavy. You might find one at your gym or just find one at a uh, like a fitness store or you know maybe a, a good sporting goods store might have a selection of these. Get something that's you know just reasonable to your fitness and your size. Um, this is just heavy enough to prove the point at six pounds and first thing I can do with this is the same as the basket of balls Notice that my arms are hardly moving independently of my chest at all, but instead 
relaxing and I'm feeling the energy being generated by the pushing off of the right foot and stepping down into the left foot the knees and the hips all engaged the big muscles of my back all engaged it feels like an entire body uh, workout I also like doing this uh, because you can do this at home uh, you'll just find an open area or you might find a wall something like that to uh, to throw the ball so now we're going to actually toss it so I'd recommend doing this medicine ball toss and I'm going to tr try to toss it fairly far here by winding up and letting it go so I've got a wall over here I've got a nice a nice rebound if I do it right again it's a little counter move wind up and toss just like that so what I would do if I was speed training that's a excellent correlation for club head speed that exercise it's one of the top exercises um, for uh, building speed uh, because it's getting your torso to really really turn getting you to really stomp a lot of force into the ground at the same time um, so you're going to do it somewhere where it can rebound but make it not so close that you it makes it a challenge to try to reach the wall that you're trying to rebound it off of you really want to put you know 100 110 as much as you can into these tosses once you're getting the feeling of how the body needs to move and the arms are going to be being heaved by the shifting and turning of the the uh the torso as the weight shifts all right let's take it take a look at the down the line angle here see i've got to take a a reasonable bow in order to have my arms hanging comfortably below so what i might do is go back and forth maybe five or six times again making the arms relax and basically bringing their activity as close to zero as you can just like this rocking one and a two and a one and a two and then after about four or five of those wind up bigger and let it fly i'm going to do that i'm going to come right over the camera now hopefully i don't break anything i'm going to go on five so it's and one and two and three and four big and five way up over the camera tried to basically throw it as far as i could it'll get you huffing and puffing just a little bit but the point we're trying to make here is we're trying to get the feet that the body is controlling more power than what you had before and the arms are kind of just getting heaved along with the body out in the lead I don't want my arms turning at the same speed of my body I want the body driving the arms into the ball as I straighten out the wrists for that big club head speed so again, try the, the uh, full driving range basket, rocking drill, maybe to warm up before you hit a bucket of balls. And that at home, you're gonna try maybe two or three medicine balls, ideally, if you could get them. And you're gonna be practicing heaving them as far as you can. If it's grass, you can just go pick them up and you can heave them the other way. Or you could also do it against a wall or a fence and that way you could get a little bit of a rebound back to your feet again. Hey, I'm Steve. Uh, thanks to Golf Development Complex in Moore Park, California. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to look down below for my free ebook and my free uh, anti-slicing video. Um, I'll see you next time. Until then, um, I hope you're longer and straighter down the fairway.